Good afternoon, evening, morning, wherever you are in the world, depending on your continent and time zone. I'm Jean and Tonic. Um, I'm here, not as, as my wee flag says, I'm in New Zealand, um, but I'm here joined with Bobby Narco, um, and you're watching, we've just missed the start of it, but the QRDL um, mini season league live from Queensland in Australia, and we're being brought to you by um, today, BCR and Tweed Valley Rollers and the Women's Flat Tracks Derby Association Broadcasting. So as we have just made a, a start in the game, we currently have um, the BCR Banshees in red um, and then the Tweed Valley Rollers skating in blue. And if I'm just not mistaken, it looks, it looks like that first league went to uh, BCR. Yes, um, and then we've got the Tweed Valley um, skater just coming out of the pack there now. And just the screen is frozen on us at, at the moment. Um, and we hey, did have some connection issues with our venue um, earlier on today. So, oh, and we're, we're, back, we're back to going. So, looks like there is a cut track penalty being called... Um, from the outside one of our OPRs, I think on our Tweed Valley. Um, it was definitely a jammer, skater wearing a black uniform. We'll see yeah. whether or not they field the jammer for the next set of whistles as to whether or not that yeah. was the jammer. Looks like there is a jammer coming out. Oh. Our camera got hit. We've been knocked around to all the way around to three and four. It's a new view for us. And... Is there a black jammer out there or not? It does not look like it. It looks like we're going to have a BCR power um, power start for this jam. So getting getting away to it um, right from the start, BCR. If you missed the first game today, um, it was a big... Um, a team and BCR came away with a convincing... Um, lead and win in that game and now we've got the BCR B team um, in the Division 2 for this um, home season tournament for um, the Queensland Roller Derby Leagues and we're back Strong underway right now at the top of the yeah. pack and at the back of the pack oh no is that another penalty not lead not lead for the Tweed Valley Jammer. I believe the Red Jammer might still be in the pack. On the initial. Um, okay, so that was the end of that jam, and we've got a BCR to eight points and TVR on two points. The start of this next jam here, it looks like oh, BCR almost got out, but in the end, we've got uh, the Valkyries are out with lead and hot on the heels is our BCR jammer. So that looks that probably pack. like first lead of the game for uh, the Valkyries. Absolutely. Get rounded for a full points pass. Nice uh, triangle defense in the back of the pack. By, still uh, seems to be holding the BCO. That's all four points. Absolutely. And another full points for TVR. And just a couple so, for BCR there by the looks of it. Yeah, both teams putting points on the board. Let's see if there's anybody in the chat that can fill us in on the uh, stats. Oh, and that jam, we had we had a lead change. So it's now sitting TVR 10, BCR 9. So it was a good solid jam for um, Tweed Valley in the blue for that jam. They've gotten the lead change. And now we'll see how these next few jams go and see if they can hold on to it. Multiplayer block coming in. That's uh, Banshee sending one to the penalty box. Oh, nearly out the front, the TVR jammer there, but very good line line coverage from the BCR pivot there. Yeah. 
and we're just going to, um, whether it is my connection or, or the venue's connection, we um, are a little bit bit choppy. Um, yes, apologize to the viewers. If you are looking at a frozen screen, um, we are doing the best that we can. Um, I know that the announcers last uh, last for the first bout also had some pro trouble, but great job to those announcers. Uh, and also lots of love to uh, Goose and Token, who are doing their best to uh, get this stream up and running to y'all. I saw something in the this is, this is, I was just going to say that this is a this is a whole lot of effort from a lot of part, corners of the world um, to get to get this going, and so we're we're um, it's all it's all happening. We just have have some um, connection issues. In the chat, they wanted to know if we could uh, take this opportunity to go over the rosters. Um, did you uh, did you happen 100%. to see those? Yes, I've got them open here. So for the BCR Banshees today, um, and they are skating in red, and um, we've got one, two, Pixie Tricks, one, four, three, Icy Kill, two, one, two, Creamy, two, four, two, Little Murder Maid, three, five, yep. five, Hot Mess, four, three, Cleaver, five, six, Purple Rain, six, Chaotic K, seven, one, seven, B Rex, eight, eight, Speed Angel, and eight, 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 Go Anna. Um, for the Tweed Valley Roller um, Valkyries, we've got 06 Rick Hell, 10 Kiff, 1 1 Hole and Ass, 125 East La Vista, 1971 Exit Mole, 20 Mischief, 22 Tenacious T, 24 Shell Razor, 25 Violate, 28 Cornbread, 6368, I should say, Dread Zeppelin, 707, Happy Kilmore, 8008, Buster, 83, Pain Terror, 96, Sugars, and 99, Evil Britches. And we seem oh, to so be, seem to be longer. back in, in action. Yeah, much yes, longer um, bench for the, the balcony, for the Valkyries than for the Banshees. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, according to the rosters that I have access to, the Banshees have 11 skaters on their roster um, and the Valkyries have submitted 16. Um, I'm not sure if they, they're using all of them in the game today or not. But that's Great job. what I we saw have on, access to. Saw on Facebook that the managers for the Banshees were Baby Cute, uh, Cutney, uh, Scare Bear and Thunderpuss. Apologies if I pronounced any of those names wrong. And the coaches for the Valkyries are Sky Dunn, Taylor Swiftly, Dr. Death, and Bubbles. And it looks like in this jam, the t Valkyries have picked up lead. Oh, and now we're on to the next one, and the Banshees have picked up lead. So I believe they we're sure in number five. Um, at the end of the last jam, um, TVR were still holding on to a one-point lead, um, 14 to 13, over um, over the BCR Banshees. But that might sure. have changed now. We've got a full points pass there for um, the Banshees, and the Valkyries are now out of the pack as well. Now, getting now the points. The oh, not calling off the jam. Not calling off the points. jam. I'm going to be running this one a little bit long. They're confident that they can um, recapture this. TVR jammer. Appears that we might have and had a lead go. change and then a lead change back within that jam. Yes, absolutely. Let's see how the points rate get. Oh, there was a solid jam for um, for the Banshees there. We're 23 to 18. Oh, 10 point jam. So this is this is really shaping up in this first first period of the of the game to be a close game. Um, it's what we love to love to see a close game of Derby. That looks like blue number 24 out on the line. That's going to be Shell Razor. And if you can catch that number four. If we can catch the, red, the BCR. We'll let you know who that is as well. BCR losing one back to the bench. They must have one in this penalty box or too many on the track. It's, that looks like number 88 eight, Speed Angel for the Banshees. Yeah. Good eye, Gene and Tonic. And it's good, close, close packs to one another. It's not um, really spread out derby. It's some really solid 
walls um, that we've got. Oh, and I think that that looks like a cut track penalty on our TVR jammer there. They've gone to the box, and I think we now have a power jam for BCR. I saw the cut call. I didn't see anybody leave the pack yet. There's a no lead jammer call on red. On red. Oh, lead yes. Is- This might be a two-minute jam. Is that star still on blue, or is that stashed? I think they are still oh, on. I'm getting in. I, th- I think I can see the jam ref standing um, standing there in the middle, so I think they've just come back onto the track now. So it was indeed a power jam um, for uh, the Banshees there. So it's going to be two minutes. Did not, yeah, we're going to have a full two-minute jam. The lead wasn't hadn't been award, had been awarded and then had the penalty um, given. Deductive derby so both, announcing. Love it. <laughs> yeah. Both jammers out now and both scoring points. So we'll see who has the opportunity to get the most on the board. Beautiful um, footwork on that inside line uh, f- from our jammer there, Shell Razor. And we have a star pass being signaled from from BCR from the Banshees there. Yeah. yeah. Was that Cleaves? Cleaver? Was that forty three Cleaver that got the star? Four three, yeah, I think it was. Points there. And more very strong, strong jamming um from Shell Razor there. She was they were really able to just um, not be held back during that jam. It was really great to see. Yeah, split those points up between uh, between uh, Speed Angel and uh, Cleaver because uh, definitely both of them got mm. points in the jam. Do we have Do we have an update on the score? Anybody? Let me check the chat. Um, BCR is sitting on thirty five. So that was a. 12 point jam for them there um, and 26 for TVR so a little bit of a, of a gap opened up in that jam by BCR um, we'll see if they're able to maintain it and Ariel that's a good way to chat. start it sorry Arielki on the chat sends love to the officials oh 100% we can't do this without without our officials um, a lot of us and my started off as an, as an official and then We've gotten into coaching and announcing. Um, I after took the that. same path. So, yeah, I, I went, a, I went a from very... fan, fan to official to announcer. Yeah, that's also very true for me. I think that fan step is a big one as well. So is that number so eight got, out on the lights? Six, number six is K. I think K. number six. And then we've got shell raises straight back out for... Um, the Valkyrie. So there was only one jam off rest for them. Um, so doing doing the hard yards early, one on, one off. There you go. Putting those, putting the work in. I hear. A, oh, it's a forearm penalty coming in. And and they get lead straight away. So um, this is a good, great opportunity for the Valkyries to to pick back up. Um, yeah, last jam show we got the track cut. Yes, yes, yes. Um, but they and they're already through on a foot points pass. Um, the BCR jammer has just taken off into a panty stash, and it was enough to get them through out of of their initial pass. That's a second scoring pass now for uh, the Valkyries. Brilliant! Ooh, and they keep the jam running, and they are they're going a longer jam, which is I love like to see. I love to see jams being run long. And yes, let the athletes skate. I know, it's what they train to do. Um, and so we've got a points pass for both teams here. I think it's multiple uh, scoring passes for both teams. Yeah, yeah, it is. Uh, I think this is um, TVR's fourth scoring pass, and that was the completion of the BCR's second pass. So good scoring jam. Um, we'll get our score update for you as soon as we can. Um, but it's good flowing derby, which is really nice to see. And so that was another lead change. Exciting, exci- it's exciting stuff. So TVR is sitting on 45, BCR 43. So that was a 19 point jam for T- 
TVR in, in that one, and we're halfway through this first period. 19 points, got to be the highest scoring single jam of the game. Absolutely. Lead. Oh, and we've got a lead jam for the Banshees this time, and the Valkyries are out of the pack too. So going back to jam four, the leads have been alternating except for the one jam where there was no lead. It's just a couple of prize yeah. fighters exchanging blows. They get lead, then they get lead, then they get lead, then they get lead. Nobody gets lead. <laughs> they get lead, then they get lead. <laughs> Absolutely. It's a, it's a really, it's, it's, it's a close game of derby and it's fun. It's exciting. And both of these jammers are back out again. They're just doing a one-on, one-off. Um, both Chaotic K and Shellraiser. Yeah, uh, rematch of jam number eight. To it again. Yep. Well, if my and notes are correct, last jam, it was a, go ahead. It was a three-zero jam to BCR. So another lead change. If you're keeping up at home, hope you're keeping nice and hydrated. <laughs> and another lead to TVR. Oh, but it was a quickly jam. I wonder if any points were. Yeah, I see two coming in. Points. Oh, the red. So TVR got lead, but the red got the points. Oh, interesting. A lead change. We've got TVR sitting on 48. So that is our Val Valkyries in blue on eight. And then BCR. Um, um, our Jammers number 77 for nine, the red team. Yeah, or 717 the against B-Rex. Sorry, I talked over you. Jam is called. And we. Yeah. Sorry, I my 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 feed lagged just a little for a moment there. I mean, but we're I was back going smooth was again. I was wondering if we had both cut out. We're going to have a little stoppage of clock right here. That's a good time to take one. My scorecard is showing it's jam 11. I don't know if that's right or not, um, but good enough for uh, government work, let's say. Um, let's as say we're doing, we've got oh. um, some, uh, just while we're we're here and talking about Tweed Valley, um, just a big shout out to Tweed Valley's home rink, the Epic Skate Rink. Um, you can find details about the rink include their learning to skate and open skate sessions um, and their pro shop at epicskaterink.com.au. Um, and also thank you to the Tweed Valley sponsors, Trim or the Tile Reglue Injection Method from loosetiles.com.au and DRN Projects. If you're interested in skating with Tweed Valley, um, message them through their Facebook page at facebook.com slash Tweed Valley Rollers or hit, up them, hit them up at their website at tweedvalleyrollers.com. Um, they also are running a new skater intake program every month. So if you are in their area, now is a great time um, to get involved with Roller Derby um, and learn this crazy sport that we all that we all love thanks to goose helping us out we know that that timeout was taken by tvr it's their first and i understand that the score is now 49 for tvr and 48 for bcr a ball bearing thin one point lead going into this timeout and we've just got 12 minutes 21 left on the period clock for this half so it's, it's been almost 20 minutes of derby. We've had multiple, multiple lead changes almost with every jam. It's a great game of derby to watch so far. Yeah, I'm, I'm thrilled to be calling this game with you. Uh, and excellent to be calling derby again. It's just so, so nice to see the sport uh, back up and rolling. And I hope it's back up and rolling wherever you are soon. So we've got 197... One exit mole that's for um, Valkyries jamming. That's, that's their then, captain. I think that, that might have been Speed Angel for um, the Banshees. And who's got the And we've got that's BCR that's... has got lead and they call it off straight away, avoiding the, in losing any points. It was a good yeah, job and good pressure um, from Valkyries. 
scoreless. It might be our first scoreless. The jammer in the lead was not the lead jammer. You're going to see that call up every time. So it remains a one-point game in favor of the Valkyries. That's number six now. K out of K heading back out to the jammer line. She's had uh, nine, two jams off. And nine six sugars for Valkyries. I oh, and straight through the inside before. line. Yeah, we've seen nice. sugars a few times out, um, but there was a beautiful um, inside line move there from sugars, telling her blockers what to do. Love to see it. Getting those points. Oh, unfortunately, though, the um, Valkyries blockers too focused on their, on their goat and missed the incoming jammer. Another points pass for both teams now. Managing to sneak their way through and cool off the jam um, is Sugars. So there was a, also a couple of points passes um, for each team. So we'll see uh, the score coming up from that could, very soon. Could easily be a lead change. They were only one point away and, going in. Yeah, so and TVR is still managing to hold that lead. Um, so for okay. TVR was 57, BCR 53. I'll extend the lead a little bit. Yeah. But here we go. That's a lead for um, BCR, for the Banshees, who are the ones that are behind by, um, by, by five, four points, I should say. You can easily take that up. But solid hit from... From that bum there, from the from the from the Valkyries, forcing that cool off. I don't know if there'll be any points there, but it was a lovely apex jump um, from our Valkyries jammer to maybe sneak some points. But yeah, it doesn't it looks look like, like one any. is being held aloft. Yeah, they did. They did band. get that one. Mm, so they did get their one point, taking it to fifty-eight for the Valkyries and fifty-three for the Banshees. We've got 9-6, so we've got Sugars back out jamming. They're doing some high rotations um, for their jammers, are the Valkyries. It's, it's good to see. They've obviously put a lot of work um, coming back into skating on their fitness um, to be able to do this, be doing this consistently. Oh my goodness, yes. The incredible the amount of athleticism that's being poured into this that's uh, it's only the second bout they have uh, uh several more bouts going on today it should be a great day uh there in brisbane although that is a cut track penalty being called on the tvr skater um who had been awarded lead so we now have another two minute jam we'll see if they can help um if bcr can help get their jammer out and get um back in control of the lead of this game Third jammer penalty I've tracked for the Valkyries. I haven't tracked a penalty yet for the Banshees. Not saying that their jammers haven't gone to the penalty box, but I haven't I haven't noted it yet. And we've only got eight and a half minutes left um, in in this in this half. This is jam number sixteen. So we have had a number of longer jams. We're not gone through too too many. Um, but there's a star pass there for the Banshees. Um, and they are now out of the pack, scoring points, um, as the Valkyries jammer is out and is um, scoring points again too. So we'll see, have to see at the end here how this all plays out. Um, but the Valkyries have had some blocker issues this this jam for penalties. They're only down to a two wall there. Um, so some easy points for the Banshees too. Yeah, and split that point column because the Banshee's uh, pivot turn jammer is also putting points on the board this time around. Mm, mm, mm. Absolutely. So points for each. Couldn't quite see who got that right. star pass, did you? No, I couldn't. Though. Moving too fast for my eyes to catch their number. A blaze of fury. A blaze of banshees going oh, away. Nice. So back to our, our peering that we've had a, a number of times, although we have got an official timeout being called there. 
But if all things stay the same, we've got this pairing of gemmas we've seen um, a number of times in this half already of Shellraiser for the Valkyries and Chaotic K for the Banshees. Um, I feel, and I feel like it's been pretty evenly balanced between the two of them. So I have them, uh, and this is probably incomplete, but I have them going against each other in jams number 8, 10, and now here in jam number 17. Yeah, and with the Valkyries taking lead there, um, heading into this jam, the TVRs just had that one-point lead. So they really closed up that gap in that last jam BCR, so it's 66-65 heading into this jam. And we've just had... Um, the Valkyries score some points there, likely, um, with their lead and cooling it off. Just a bit hard to see their fingers up against the, the white background, but we yes. are doing a little bit great. Of white so TVR is on, tips. TVR is on 69, BCR is on 65, with 621 to go in the half. Yet another lead change. It was just 66, 65 the other way. Mm. And uh, both jammers out straight away, but the Valkyries have got a quarter of a track on them. So I have that as three leads in a row for the Valkyries. Yes, they've, they've had a good few in a row. And it was a lovely apex jump. And then from the Valkyries in a lovely um, outside sort of dip, I guess, around the outside of the pack from the Banshees. Beautiful free-flowing jamming. Um, from them trust your blockers to see. yeah mm. great move just skate on through trust your blockers to hold back the other jammer and full points passes for both teams so i don't think we will see um any lead changes at the end of that jam um so 77 to tvr 73 to bcr um 518 remaining in the half and we've got that pairing another, back up again. Shell yeah, Razor. Another match and of Chaotic K. K and Shell yeah. Razor. <laughs> they're, they've been so well matched um, in this first half. It's, it's really cool to see close, tight derby. And the packs, they're not spreading out. They're, they're, you really are able to utilize one another um, in creating just a, one sort of giant blob of a pack um, to hinder those jammers. And they've both gotten out um, at similar times with um, the Valkyries having lead. Once again, there's been a bit of a run for them um, yeah, in, this, in this last sort of five of minutes. Six. Yeah. Yeah. And, and uh, inclu including one them. time where they got lead and lost it on the penalty, but uh, still, yeah, they, they did get lead. Very true. Mm -hmm. And they got they got through um, well there, so I think they got a full points pass. Um, and I'm not sure if the Banshees got they didn't end up getting any points. So, or they got they got two points on that pass. Sorry. So TVR sitting on 81, BCR 75 with four minutes to go on the clock. Ah, oh, beautiful. It's a beautiful offense there um, from the Valkyries. That they completely cleared the open, the inside line for their jammer there um, and got a, another lead in a row. And same again there. Beautiful. Holding them off of their apex, um, getting a full points pass um, for their jammer there. Really beautiful stuff. Both uh, jam reps what? are reporting in points. Mm-hmm. Um, 80, but it's now to out to 10 points. Yeah, 85 to TVR, 75 to BCR, 3.15 to go in the half. Um, so 10 point, 10 point lead. It's not gotten much above that um, in the game. Earlier on, it got out to maybe, I think, 15 points, but 10 is um, for, has been the biggest in, this last, in the second half of the, of the first half. So now oh, this is a B Rex cut. up against Shellraiser, I think. Mm, and Shellraiser just got a cut penalty um, coming up on the inside of that apex there. So it is a power jam for the Banshees. Lead open. We will find out. Lead, Lead is, is open, open and awarded. For the first time since Jam 14 to the Banshees. 
Um, and this is Jam 21. So that's a significant run um, for the Valkyries that they had. So good thing for Banshees to be able to get a little bit of control back um, in this jam. And we'll see if they are going to... They have, they have iced that jammer into the penalty box. So we're going to have a power start um, for this next jam um, for the Banshees. We'll see if they can get another lead off of this. And closes oh, the gap sorry, just I a just little got bit updated. We couldn't... Got uh, it updated that they are out of the bin. Sorry, so there's not going to be a power start. They didn't quite get there. But it's an 85 to 77 to TVR, so that was a good jam. And um, they got a, eight, a couple of points into that lead. But they're back out there. TVR's got the lead, but the Banshees are right on their tail. And it's, it's, it's even when there has been these runs of leads for the Valkyries, the, the Banshees have always been right out, right behind them. They're not allowing um, the Valkyries to be getting multiple points passes, um, which is what's keeping this so close. Yeah, the largest lead of the game has been a 10-point lead. There's it, Nobody's running away yeah. with this. It's not a game yeah. of great streaks. It's a punch and counter punch. And so at the end of that jam, we've got 86 to TVR, um, 78 to BCR, 50 seconds left in the half. And oh, that and sounds got like this clip. kind of whistles that stop the clock. Yeah. Yeah, an official timeout, I think, by the... The look of our lovely jam timer there. And yeah, the you know, to, to still be to be at what is that? It's eight points. Eight points at the end of um coming into the end of a half, it's a quality game of Derby. Especially after no the No matter the teams you have piled on the leads, the consecutive leads for, for BCR yeah. still to be in it. And we're back back in action. And the Banshees managed to get lead on this one. And the Valkyries are still being kept in the pack. So we'll see if they can hold her there for this first points pass. And they do. So the Banshees are out. They get a full points pass, um, and now the Valkyrie's jammer is also out. You hit it and quit it the second time, or you get as many as you can and trust your D. Oh, oh it, they got they got through fully. The they did. So are we going to get an eight nil, or did uh, TVR pick up any? If it's eight nil. That's a, it's a tied, tied game. game. Holy cow. Tie game coming into the oh, half. Oh, so they not quite a tied game. So they only got two points on that final pass. So it's 88 uh, to 86 okay. um, at half time. So first, first half of Derby. Awesome game to see. No matter what the yeah. level of Derby we're watching, if if you're if you're coming into halftime with only a two point lead, you know it's been a good game. Um, and it's not that it's been a a grindy game. It's been quite free flowing Derby. It's been really good to watch. There have been several jams where both teams were putting points on the board, where the skaters were just let, trusting their defense. I'm going to make another pass, and I want you to stop the jammer uh, so that they don't get any points because I want to keep scoring yeah. some points. Yeah, absolutely. And it, 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 they've, they've, they've let jams run. It's not just been solid, hit and quit it um, the entire time. Um, it's great derby to watch, and we really hope you uh, – um, enjoying that. Um, so I will just also quickly say before we go to our half time um, that there has been an update to the WFTDA return to play um, guidelines. So they've published new COVID safety guidelines for leagues as they return to play um, and they can be found at the community.wftda.org um, page. So Keep keep keeping check on checking those updates. There's new changes that broadened our um, scope to being returning to play um, 
and hopefully that means that you'll be um, able to get onto those skates and hitting one another again soon. Um, so first half, exciting game. We've got TVR with 88 points, BCR 86 points. Um, we'll be back with you uh, in around eight minutes um, for the second half of this exciting close derby match. And welcome back. We're um, back from our halftime break with um, Bobby Narco and myself, Jen and Tonic, both in America and in New Zealand, bringing you this very close, very exciting game between our um, Brisbane City Roller Banshees and our Tweed Valley Roller Valkyries. It is 86 points to the TVR Valkyries and 78. Sorry, no, that, I'm reading the wrong last update. 88 to the Valkyries and uh, 86 to our Banshees. Incredibly close Banshee. game. Very f- Banshees are skating fast. in blue. Excuse me, Banshees are skating in red. The Valkyries are skating in blue. There have been so many lead changes, Gene and Tonic. I hope everybody who was here for the first half uh, had an opportunity to use the bathroom because if you've been following tradition where you take a little sip every time the lead changes, you probably had to use the restroom over the break. And if you're just tuning in for the second, I hope you're well stocked with beverages because it. I expect or I'm hoping for more of the same, more lead changes here in the second half. Mm, it's been exciting, um, fast, well, flowing derby. Um, there's not been, um, there's been lots of multiple points passes, um, and not just uh, not afraid and trusting of the blockers to um, contain that jammer so they can get that extra um, points pass. There's not been um, large amounts of hit it and quit it derby, which is really um, nice to see. There so have been another... a lot of explosive hits. I think that the you know the the hitting has been very contained. I'm sure it's very powerful, but there hasn't been just you know knock everybody to the floor and power through. It's a lot of uh, apex jumps and a lot of f- trying to finesse your way through the walls. Are we underway for the second half, Gene? And we are underway again, and that is lead to our Valkyries um, jammers. I, I'm I'm not sure if that is their first pass or if that's a um, their their initial there. But they're cooling it off the air for the end of that first jam. So they've um, at least um, gotten, gotten the points um, for that jam. And by all appearances, it looks like uh, uh, the Banshees were shut out, although they are putting a jammer out. So at least they're not locked up. But I think they probably got shut out that last jam. Um, they did manage to get a couple, but TVR got a couple of points passes in. So TVR on 96 and BCR on 89. Um, and we've got oh, number okay. two, four, Shell Razor for the Valkyries there, who are, who's been doing a heavy load of jamming for, for TVR in that first half. Yeah, one of, one of the go-to jammers. The, the number I've written down the most. Um, also, we had 22 in 1971. Uh, but for the most part, the number I wrote, was writing down was 24, probably because it's also the easiest to see. Yes, it's a nice, big, clear, um, clear number. Oh, someone's being sent off. Lead has been assessed. Uh, the skater that's being sent off, I don't think, is the jammer. No, but and we've got lead for um, for Shell Razor there. So out, out in scoring points now. That Banshee's jammer still being held there at the front of the pack, but straight through for a beautiful um, full points pass for 2-4. And there is the Banshee's Jammer out um, out on, out of the way. I think that is Speed Angel by the looks of that number. I think that's 8-8. Eight, eight. And another well, pass. squared, but now it's uh, 104. I think uh, two passes of <laughs> four. Up over the century mark. It Either is. way, go the Valkyries. No, over the century. Got 104 for the Valkyries and 89 for the Banshees. So the Banshees held scoreless for the first time this half. There have not been a lot of scoreless jams. You you were mentioning it coming in. There's not a lot of hit it and quit it. Mm. There's there have been as many mm. jams where both teams have put points on the board. Yeah, absolutely has been. That's one of the also the few jams that the the pack has been quite spread out. We had um, 
the Valkyries pack down toward the jam line and the Banshees pack up toward the pivot line. And it has worked well for the Valkyries. And they've gotten that points pass. And they Coach are calling it off. We'll see. Yeah, the coach bench coach was definitely calling it there for a little bit before the jammer started calling it off. We'll see if they um, manage to shut them out of the points. So, Banshee's looking so for the first it. lead this half. Mm. And we're Let's looking at 108. Get it. We've got 108 for the Valkyries and 93 for the um, Banshees. And our most common pairing on the Jammer lineup is back. We've got um, Chaotic K for the Chaotic Banshees K and Shellraiser. Together we're getting for the very first time better than before. And there we go. The Banshees get that lead. First lead of the half for the Banshees. Let's hear it the for Shellraiser him. is hot on the tail. Oh, we'll see how many points they got in that hit it and quit it. It looks they look to be happy. We'll see how many they manage to get out of it. Um, it was one hundred eight to ninety six, so three points. Um, taking that lead down to twelve. Um, it's the biggest this lead, the lead has been. Um, we're five minutes into this half. We've got twenty five to and go. And the first time the Valkyries have been held difference. scoreless this half. Mm, it was. And both of these scores are divisible by 12. Hold on. I think that it's an 11 to, uh, 11 to 10 scoring margin? No. Um, 9 to 8. I don't know. Both these scores are divisible by 12. I stand by that. Whether or not it's true. Oh. <laughs> um, but there was a quick jam then. Um, so maybe this half, with the score being close, we are going to see shorter jams um really trying to take control of this lead that they do have for tvr um and really going to try to limit the points that the banshees can um score so there was scoreless jam um was jam six all right so we still are on our 12 table and i believe that i figured it out that it is a nine to eight scoring ratio nine times 12 is 108 <laughs> and eight times 12 is 96. And I think that and might Chaotic have been K got Chaotic K there got out for lead, but has been given a um, a penalty there. I'm not didn't see what it was for, um, but we have a power jam now um, for um, the Valkyries. Lead had been awarded, so this is going to be a two minute jam. Um, yep, our first two we'll minute see. jam of the half. We had two two minute jams in the first half. This is our first one here. Maybe we'll get some mm. lead fluctuation. Um, I've just been informed that it was a cut on that um, the Banshees jammer. And more points. The jammer out of the box, coming fast into that uh, Valkyrie wall there. They did manage to take the impact. But now they've gotten through for that pass. And so we're now both jammers flowing through the pack, getting their points. It's going to be a high-scoring jam for the Valkyries. We'll see if the Banshees can um, limit uh, any damage done for this jam. Oh, we got an out-of-pail uh, illegal position sending somebody off the track. That'll loosen things up. That's a red skater on the illegal position. Mm -hmm. Another penalty coming in. Mm. Banshees jam are being recycled to the back. Oh, so there's a couple of um, few blockers off the track now. But I think it's two, three walls um, still on the track. Is so still violate called on the blocking with the head, unless I saw it wrong, which is entirely possible. This is a big jam um, from Shell Razor there. We'll see what it all um, comes in to be. But going into that jam was 108 to 96. And after that jam, 136 to 102. So that was a 28 point jam for Shell Razor. It's a massive jam for them there. Um, and still 
a six point gem for BCR, um, but that was this is the biggest lead that we've now had in this game. Um, we've, we've got what is that? Thirty four points. Um, highest gem of this game. Highest scoring gem, I do believe, um, for the day so far, um, and that's going to take um, a bit of beating, I imagine. Yeah, I think a timeout has been taken. I think uh, the Banshees want to regroup a little bit. Uh, and uh, I, I don't know actually who called the timeout, but if I had to prognosticate... Um, it, it, was, it was a BCR timeout. Um, so very much the time to take stock, just to reset a little bit. Um, they really have to... If they want to get back into this game, they really need to have a few gems in a row. Um where they can get lead, get some points, ease into this lead now. Back on track, we got Sugars lining up against B-Rex. And Sugars is out for lead pretty easily. Um, but that That's... being said, the Banshee's half a track behind. Stops a little bit of a lead streak that the Banshee's had been on. Mm-hmm. And interestingly there, the Banshees are out for a full points pass before they get out. So I think that that's going to be a 4-4 four, um, four, four jam. Um, no change in um, the the lead. So 140 to 107 to... Um, to no, yes, that's what has just come through. We've got 21 minutes left in, in the half. So uh, BCR pick up five points there. Net gain of one point makes it a uh, 23, uh, 33 point game. And after that big jam, one jam off, and and Shell raises back on the track. It's as we said a couple of times in that in that first half. Um, these skaters have obviously worked incredibly hard um, on their fitness and their endurance um, to be able to be skating at the rotation. Um, that they are and still performing at this intensity um, with such a short yeah. rotation that they're doing. Every other jam for Shellraiser, it seems. Yeah. I have to find a. But. Oh, there's a that back block time coming this, in. Yeah, I think on Shellraiser. It looks like the jam ref that's now standing in front of the penalty box. So we've got a power jam and lead for the Banshees. Um, we'll see no, how lead. they. Oh, it was. So we've got another um, that's, a two that's minute just game. Points. Sorry. Yeah, that's, that's just points. Uh, yeah, that's not. I see why you, the, the jam ref's signal looks a little bit like lead is being pointed, mm. but I think it's just signaling yeah. points. And pack ref defining yes. the pack well. I got to say, I have no complaints about the officiating. I haven't seen anybody, um, you know, in the chat or uh, at the venue complaining about the calls. Uh, so I got to assume the uh, fishing uni is spot on and top notch as always. Um, yeah, and so I think we're we're back all all out on the track now. Both jammers scoring points. This jam will almost be um, almost be over. And the pack is spread out a bit. We've not really seen too much of that um, tonight. We've not been seeing um, those big recycles and running back um, our jammers. Another points pass here for um, Shell Razor. And, and there we go. Like end two of minutes jam. ends the jam. Yeah, that's right. Because mm. only the jam timer could end it. And we have uh, 148 to the Valkyries and 118 to the Banshees. 30 point lead. I like those easy numbers to math a five. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Makes our job that bit easier. And we're underway again. Ah, and lovely inside, inside line work from Sugars there, I do believe, for the Valkyries. Um, and that's but that being said, Chaotic is out just half a track behind. But it's saying, it was a lovely, call it off, call it off. Yeah, it was a lovely hop um, on the inside, on turn one on the apex. Um, 
the year. They would have gotten their full points pass. See what BCR man would manage to pull out of out of that. So they one five two two. two. One, two, one. So they both scored points. Um, BCR um, got three points on that pass, so not quite um, able to shut them out of the points, but still extending that lead by one. That's what they're wanting to see. Much love to Goose helping us out with the scores. That's 717. On the red team, that is B Rex. B Rex. But another lead for um, Shellraiser, I do believe. Um, from TVR. We're just I believe it. going through this and had and quit it. And so um, they definitely got a couple of points, I think, there on that Banshee pack. Um, but then I, it also did look like uh, the Banshee Jammer might have gotten one or two. They did. So they, it was two points for the Valkyries and one point there for the Banshees. Um, so another one-point game for TVR. That's what they're wanting to see. 32-point lead, and there is a timeout stoppage of play. Hey, um, okay. uh, Gina Tonic, do you have the reads? Uh, I was uh, not yes, at the I do. Today. I do have the Did reads. Did you print out the <laughs> reads? Can you hook me out with that? Um, I can do once we get back to it. But in the in the meantime, um, if you're getting back into Derby, make sure your WFTDA insurance coverage is up to date. Um, log into the member portal and check your coverage status or go to WFTDI.com for more information. There are discounted insurance rates that are still available to US-based leagues and skaters. Canadian leagues and skaters go to WFTDI. Um, Canada.ca for member benefits and information. And did you know that ramp and bowl skating is also covered by the WFTDA insurance? So's Junior Derby and Bank Track 2. Um, check out WFTDI.com to learn more about getting supplemental insurance that helps when you get hurt on skates. Terms and conditions apply. Visit WFTDI.com um, for all of the insurance information. Um, Incredibly important to be looking after yourself on skates. These are dangerous tools um, when we lose focus sometimes. Um, always need to make sure that we're all protected. Stay healthy, friends. Stay healthy. 88 out on the line for Banshees. That is Speed Angel. And uh, Speed Angel had several appearances on the first half, uh, but... Uh, I think this is the first appearance, uh, at least that I'm noting, uh, in the second half. Well, the second half. I think you're right with that. And picks up lead. That stops a streak of four lead jams in a row by the Valkyries. And that's just the medicine that the Banshees need, trailing now by 32 points. Yes, and it's still, I think, managed to get a point or two on their inside line. Just the Banshees block is not quite getting in there to cover that lane. Um, but we've got a one five four to one two three lead for the Valkyries. So what's that? Thirty one points. It's still knocked off a doable. point there, yes. Absolutely. Yeah. Still Both absolutely of these doable. Scores are almost divisible by thirty one. <laughs> it's <laughs> roughly a five to four lead using thirty one as the common denominator. And we've got a lead jam for Chaotic K. We'll see what they can do. I think has been one of their best jammers um, tonight, especially going up against Shell Razor um, a large portion of the time. Um, and it's a really good job, this jam, from the BCR wall. They managed to recycle Shell Razor back, um, hopefully giving them their jammer that bit more time to get those points. Both teams are doing a really good job in turn number one, which I believe is the narrowest, one of the two narrowest parts of the track. And they're really closing 100%. up that bottleneck well. Mm. And there we go. Full points pass there for BCR. We'll see if the Valkyries manage to score any points in that jam as well. I am impressed with your eyesight, Gene and Tonic. I could not be picking these scores out. Uh, these figures up against the walls have me uh, uh, batty. <laughs> so they, um, TVR did manage to get uh, two points in that jam. So 157 to 127, back to a 30-point lead. But our block, our, our 
penalty box is a little bit busy at the moment. We've got two TVR blockers and one um, BCR blocker, but that doesn't stop our TVR Gemma. She's straight through, um, through for lead. It sure and is. it looks like we've got a power jam um, for them as well. Um, it looked like there was being signalled by the, the bench coach there, and the jam ref is now standing there in the middle. Classic indicator we've got a power jam. Who tells us that's and a trot cut on the Banshee's mm-hmm. jammer? Mm-hmm. Um, 14.30 to go in, in the bout. And that's another points pass for TVR. This is shaping up to be um, another big jam for them. I think that's two points passes already. But uh, the Banshees are back on the track with their jammer. So hopefully they can um, mitigate some of this, the, the bleeding from this jam. Oh, but they've got now got a chance because that looked like a cut track pulled on um, the Valkyrie's jammer there. I think that's Sugar's. That's out All on the right, track. So, so they've got full two. Full two minutes um, and a power jam each. Uh, but good but good core strength there to stay on, um, stay on the track uh, there for B Rex, I think. And a decent chance enough skating has gone by that this will start as a power start. With sugar still in the penalty box. Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't be surprised. This has been. Um, we've had, considering it's the second um, jammer penalty, it feels like we we might. Ah, oh, but track cut coming in. Yeah, we see sh- track sugar cut. Shoes, and you see sugars get out at the very end. Yeah, so it's likely to be a power start for the Valkyries. Um, exactly what the. The Banshees wouldn't have wanted to see so hard. So when was that up, a um, double track cuts for B Rex? Did B Rex cut the yeah, track? Yeah, I, and then I, cut the I, track I again? think it was, and then ended up in the penalty box again. Um, so the Valkyries are lining up um, Shell Razor there. I think as the sole uh, um, as the sole jammer, and seven one seven is going to be the jammer starting from the box. So yeah, absolutely. Uh, B Rex cut. And then got out, uh, and then got released on the cut by Sugars, and then when Sugars got out, B Rocks cut again, and there we are. Yeah, absolutely. And so we've got one sixty nine to one two seven going to this jam, eleven fifty nine to go um, on the period clock. And Shell Razor is through. Shell Razor is through. We've got uh, our Banshee's jammer back out on the track. And out of their initial pass, but Shell Razors made that pass and was getting the signal to call it off. Um, good jam for them. Four. Um, another another four point pass. Brings the score up to one seventy three so, to one twenty seven. In favor we've got one, of the Valkyries. Yeah, so it, it's it, it's good solid work. Um, from the Valkyries. They've created this lead and they are uh, at the start of this half and they're, they're able, being able to maintain it, which is great to see. Uh, updating that, uh, Banshees are at 129, starting this next set of whistles. Gene and Tonic, did you catch the jammers? Um, I didn't quite. I think that was speed, is Speed Angel out for the Banshees and it is Sugars out for... Um, Valkyrie, Banshee's managed to get lead on that one, which is a good, good they needed to be doing, um, but Valkyrie's got out straight away as well, um, so it ended up being called off early. And we've got 174 this- to 130, so it was a one to one, one point to one point jam for both teams. Here's that familiar and matchup we've-, we've been seeing all game. Absolutely, we've got Shell Razor and Chaotic K. Up on the jam and line. some stoppage of play Both whistles. Doing. People milling about as the referees confer. So we got, I think, some sort We've of official a timeout. timeout for the banshees there. So we've got. Um, if you are in Australia, New Zealand, or a part of the world that is able to return to play and are starting to get um, 
games back up in your world of roller derby. Um, if you're wanting to broadcast your games without the expense and hassle of traditional streaming, the remote studio can get your games to a global audience with as little as a smartphone. No matter your location or budget, if you're wanting to get streaming with the remote studio, contact broadcast at quadmedia.tv and we'll have people get in contact with you and we can set something up like this. Um, you guys provide a, a camera and the scoreboard access um, for us or a person sitting there able to type it into our Discord um, and then we provide these sorts of beautiful layouts and um, the announcers to bring your um, derby to an international audience. And much love to Goose uh, and uh, Token uh, Redshirt and to Hazenberg for helping us out, uh, getting all the stream out to you today. Um, they have been a tremendous help, and it has been a blast getting back to call some roller derby. And now GM number 16 is underway with the familiar matchup of Chaotic K going up against Shell Razor. Mm-hmm. And who got lead this time? That looks like Chaotic K out first. I think the last couple of times that they've paired up, Chaotic K has got in the got in the lead. But Shell Razor out, quarter of a track behind. Called off the jam. Their match. Would have got in their matchup. This half have not been as many as they were the first half. They've started uh, tr trying yeah. to go up against other jammers a little bit more this half. Uh, but you're right. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Chaotic K is winning the jammer matchups this half. Two to one. And we've got 174 to 132, so a two point um, gain there for the Banshees. And we've got uh, that Sugars for the Valkyries and uh, Speed Angel up there for uh, um, Banshees. A little bit of Jammer on Jammer here. Um, we're back all Banshees back into it, into that tight pack. Oh, but we've Direction got a penalty. Send somebody off. A back uh, I think that was by the, the inside the, pack ref and a direction of play penalty called by the outside pack ref. So two penalties coming in, two skaters should be reporting. Oh, yes, neither but we've got... Neither no, neither of them were the jammers. Um, BCR had the lead now, there. Um, and then and it looks like the Valkyries review. are calling an official review here. Um, maybe on that call, because it did look, at least on that camera, um, that... It was the the jam ref was trying to give a penalty um, yeah, to it one like of the, the jammers. Jam it looked like and then yeah. returned to play. I could so I wouldn't see be surprised. An official review on that. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if that's what this official review is about. Um, but there that was a smallest jam. Yeah, keeping us at one thirty two um, to one seventy four. So what's that? That's uh. I can't do math. It's a Saturday here. Um, uh, it is after uh, full working week. Uh, hamada, hamada, hamada. Uh, almost forty. It is thirty-eight points. Yeah. No, it is yeah. more than that. It's forty-two points. Forty-two, 42 points. points. Um, so is. if you aren't able to catch catch this game live, um, all of our games that we have here get published onto YouTube a few days later. Um, if you're watching on YouTube, please um, hit that thumbs up button and let us know that you like um, these streams and these shows. It really helps out the channel and the YouTube algorithms um, for you to do that and it will allow us to keep bringing you Derby coverage from um, the remote studio. But if you're here on Twitch. Um, there are other ways that you can help us as well. If you follow us on Twitch, you can get notified every time that we go live. Um, if you are able to subscribe, or if you have an Amazon Prime subscription, you can have a free um, subscription here on Twitch. If you use that, you won't be caught out by any of the ad reads uh, or the ad rolls that um, are played by the channel. Um, if you are having any issues with linking your account, if you pop it into the chat, um, someone I'm sure will be able to help you. Um, these send, send these send some uh, love to some of the people in the chat. We've got Iron Thighs two forty four tuning in and Recoil six six nine. We have Heyo, it's Mark. They're all having a. We got uh, Mika Chu Mika Chu BX Australia in there as well. Everybody's having a good time. So uh, Twitch TV, uh, a lot of uh, interesting people that you can interact with while the game is going on. Absolutely, um, and it's Iron Thighs. So 
great that you um, pushed to get this done with Goose. Um, this is the, this morning's game was a great game to watch for different reasons. Um, I think it was a very different different blocking than the the BCR walls. They were really able to contain. Um, the the gem is there and then to this game with it being close a close game is always a fun game to watch um no matter who the teams are um so thank you for that and pushing um to get these streamed um along with bones and bones is the one that's been uh goose i should say not bones who am i talking about goose is the one who's sitting there in the venue um and feeding us our um score updates on our discord server so it's it's great to see and to be here and being able to do this today. Gene and Tonic, it is my first time working with you, and I have to say it's an absolute pleasure. I appreciate the uh, the technology giving us a chance to call a game that otherwise we might never have got a chance to call together. Absolutely. Um, like, as you said, first time working together is um awesome for me to be able to work um, someone who has as much experience as you do, Bobby. Um, and you're absolutely right. I I don't personally have the the funds to be able to travel um, and announce the the big 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 tournaments and games um, in the states and in Europe. So it's uh, all because of this remote studio that you know we get to meet each other and get to work with one another, and it's a it's an awesome opportunity. Take a look and see who else is in the chat. We have uh, Winosaur saying, "Hey, hey." Uh, and we have Toxic Marcotic uh, uh, clarifying, hey, oh, it's Mark, is, is Toxic Marcotic. Uh, and I saw earlier uh, that we had uh, Keys, Andrew Keys was there, and Nerd Derby in the chat. Much love to the England uh, New England Roller Derby Report, also known as Nerd Derby. Roller Derby Streaming New Zealand was in the house earlier. Um, and if you're not here in the Twitch chat, you can also be a part of our roller derby conversations at the Wii FTDA Collective. Um, signing up is easy and you're able to connect with um, other folks, skaters, officials, announcers, volunteers, anyone who is involved with the derby, um, derby verse near and far. Um, you can find more information at community.wftda.org. Um, and with that, it looks like the official review is over. We're back on the track. We've got our Classic pair up of this of this bout so far, um, chaotic K for the Banshees and Shell, Shell Razor for the Valkyries, and we'll see who gets lead this time. The last few, the last Go few ahead. times it has been chaotic K getting lead, and it's the same again. I think that's three in a row now for this matchup. Um, chaotic K has gotten lead. So the update is solid head on, on loses the one. official review. TVR loses the official review. I don't know what they were challenging, but whatever it is, they didn't win. I mean, with that shell right out of the pack, uh, Chaotic K gets the first first full points pass, um, calls the jam off. So, eating a little bit into that lead, we are now 173 to 136 for BCR. So we're now back onto that 40 points. Um, they've, they've pulled it back a little bit. Um, going into that jam, there was eight and a half minutes left. So I imagine um, we'll be around seven and a half, um, exactly seven and a half minutes left um, of the bout. They can 100% still pull this back if they can chain a few leads together. Yeah, uh, TVR had a 28-point jam. Uh, if BCR can put together a 28-point jam of their own, they will be right back in this. Yep. Or a uh, elbow penalty coming in. Somebody call on Oh, the yeah, and is that, that's on, that is on the jammer. And so... Oh, I think that was a little bit of a do si do there, actually, in the, in the, in the penalty box for the jammers. Um, yeah, it's just being released... Um, for uh we're not gonna have a lead out of yeah no lead no lead jammer um for this one um the valkyries are off Our of their initial pass um so now scoring points this pass so that's the their first points pass there um but Fourth i do believe that jam the of the are, half and it is the oh, uh, at least the sixth two minute jam of the game jam timers mm. love those two minute jams <laughs> they do. It gives them all of all of the power. Power. 
Oh, here comes the blue jammer heading into the penalty box. Or is that just a skater? I think that was just a skater. And and I mean no disrespect but, by saying just a skater. Uh, it's oh, more than I could ever do. Yeah. Oh, same. My knees cannot cope with what these um, these skaters put their their bodies through. And Coach they're, they're both out. S- Coach is suggesting a low block or indicating to uh, another coach why a skater went off, but somebody's out on a low block. Mm. Yeah, this is, this is a good opportunity for the Banshees, um, Jammer. Well, they've just got two blockers on the track to get a couple of quick passes in. Wow, this is only the initial pass for the Valkyries. Now the first scoring. Yeah. Just, I'm just the medicine of the Banshees. I'm surprised I thought I'd seen them get... Anyway, we'll see what we'll see what this um, update and score is. We've got TVR on 185 and BCR on 144. So they had did score some points. Um, so they had they had been scoring in, in that in that round. Not sure what um, we were seeing there with the off initial, but we've got an official timeout, so we may be um, addressing that now. Um, so. Got one more thing to talk about. Um, our new skater curriculum. Curric- Maybe you've seen the beginning skating skater program. This is roller derby. Uh, if you have questions on where and how to start with this new beginner skater skating, program, make sure you join the skating education and training community at We FTDA. We'll be discussing your questions, adding resources, and linking to more information around skating curriculum. Um, so find skating education and training at community.wftda.org. And we're back to it. And I think that that was uh, Shell Razor getting another lead for the Valkyries. I and, think you are right. And a hit it and quit it there got that full points pass before, I think, before um, the Banshees were able to get any points there. So and what so are we looking at? We've got four minutes twenty left in the game. Um, one ninety one we'll playing one forty four. Mm. So they they 90. they seem to be um, holding this lead comfortably now. Um, Sugar's so they'll be feeling a little bit more comfortable. Valkyries. Sugar's picking up lead for the Valkyries. But the Benchies Gemma right Jammer behind up. them, just quarter of a check. Uh, beautiful the points on the outside there and managed to call we'll see if they got um full the points it did look like they were pretty close to the line but from this angle hard to tell um they didn't so it's they like just got one point on that pass so yeah 192 to 144. oh and, and that sounds like them. another set of whistles yep I was going to say that flight of oh. whistles signals a stoppage of play. And we're straight back oh. into it. That was a very quick five one. Five seconds. But three minutes, um, 16 left. That speed angel on the line, pick it up, Lee. Yeah, I think so. I am often confounded by the 88s. I think of them as 66s, and then I don't see anybody on the roster with a 66. Yeah. And they've managed... Oh, and they get out now. Um, that Shell Razor is able to get out now off of that initial pass. Uh, Speed Angel, full point pass, and calling it off. Yeah, it does decide to take the hit and quit. It took a few seconds off to do that. I thought because the time was taken that another scoring attempt yeah. would be run. I thought if time's not really on your side, if you're going to hit it and quit it, do it. Yeah, I agree with that too. But we at the end of that jam, the BCR um, picked up the four points. So 192 to 148. We've got two minutes 20 left in the game. And Sugars are on the line for uh, the Valkyries. And uh, number six, and that looks K. like a team. 
And that looks like a team timeout um, being called there um, by um, one of the teams there. Um, so just a couple minutes point left. Game. 44 points. Yeah. It's very still close derby. It's, 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 it's good to see. The, the, what's turned it in this, this sort of last um, 10 minutes is the, the Valkyries. They've been able to get a bunch of leads and really control that point scoring. Um, and then when they haven't, when they haven't gotten lead, they've, they've been out straight away. Um, there's not been a chance for, um, they've not given the Banshees a chance to be able to score just easily. Um, and yeah, uh, just and, really. And when, when the Valkyries are, are not being allowed to score, the Banshees aren't putting on multiple scores. They're, it's going to be 4 nothing. So, They're not putting yeah. up an 8 nothing. Yeah. They're not putting up a 12 nothing. You know, they, yeah. they need to take some big, some, some big bites. Um, so I think the Valkyries have done a better job in holding the other team when holding the Banshee scoreless to also make multiple scoring passes. In so doing. Absolutely. Well, we've just had it updated. So this is actually um, BCR are taking an official review. That's what they are are looking at. Um, what they're looking at um, now, why we have this stoppage. Um, Yeah, and <laughs> we've just had comment from um, from Token in the in the Twitch chat um, that it's weirding. Is if asking if it's weirding anyone else out that these folks are closer than six feet and not wearing any um, any masks. I imagine um, it is quite a weird feeling, um, like being in New Zealand um, and various parts of Australia. Um, they've managed COVID nineteen very well and are now out of that um, and uh, getting used to. Um, used to not having that as a part of our day to day, um, but so I can imagine it's very a bit confronting as well to see on the stream. But we're back we have to chaotic it. Chaotic K and um, Sugars now out there on the Gemma line for their respective teams, and uh, being recycled. Chaotic the word K. On the official review is, but Sugars um, picks haven't, up the. Yeah, Sugar's out in lead. Um, Chaotic K, half a track behind. They've all still been putting that pressure on. Even if they haven't got in lead, they've been able to um, get out and force that, that call-off because this, this half really has moved more to um, that call-off derby and more hit-it-and-quit-it style. Coach is saying skate Someone, on. Oh, no, it's been called off. Sorry. Has been called off. And we've got Hellraiser and Speed Angel on the lineup um, for this next jam. We've not got many many jams left, I imagine. We've got, got one nine two to one five two. Only a minute, um, only a minute left for this bout 40 point lead and we are on my score sheet in jam number 24 and it's conceivable that i've dropped a jam and we're even further into the game and we uh, into that narrowest part of the track my, my screen is just all so both teams really keeping that second, uh, that first turn bottled up. Now red through with lead heading into the back stretch. That is number 88 on the red team picking up lead. That no. is Speed Angel. Speed Angel. But they're managing to help hold Shell Razor. Oh, now out, as, as, I, as I say that, out on there, finishing their initial. Um, and Speed Angel getting that points pass in. Yeah, one scoring pass ahead. See. We might be in added time right now, so I don't think that uh, it's going to be in BCR's interest to call off the jam. they got to rely on that defense and put as many points as they can on. Mm. Um, just getting, getting the points on the board in this last jam. It's nice to see. But as we say that, 
they call it. And we'll see if that was indeed the last jam. But it looks like we've got a very nice, clean number for our final scores. Final score being um, 200 to the Valkyries and 160 to the Banshees. Um, That's a 5 to 4 scoring ratio using 40 as your common denominator. (laughs) Even I can do that one on the side. It's like we've said a couple of times, we love easy math um, as announcers. Gene, do you know Um, what's coming up after this game? We have another two games um, coming up. Uh, Oh, I don't have it quite right in front of me. Um, Nor do I, but stick around. Yeah, Yeah, we've got another two games coming up in in this this, this next little um, bit of time. And we'll bring you more hopefully close games um, from this uh, tournament that's the start of this tournament that's happening in in Queensland um, and we'll bring you some more derby. That was very rambling. Yeah. Sorry. On behalf of <laughs> Token Redshirt and Goose and Hazenberg and Gene and, Taka, uh, Gene and Tonic, I'm Bobby Narco and we wish you peace, love and roller derby.